everyone, welcome to another Roblox Studio tutorial. So, a custom loading screen with music in the background. Let's get started. Alright, so in Starter GUI, I have a screen GUI called Loading Screen. And if I show it, it looks like this. It's just a white background with a loading text in the middle. So what I want to be able to do is to put this as the loading screen and also put some music in the background. So to do this, you're going to want to add a local script inside of your... Uh, replicated first and I'm going to call this local script loading screen so first of all a couple of variables first one will be pointing to the GUI so the loading screen GUI that you want that will be uh, game dot players dot local player dot player GUI and you're gonna wait uh, for that uh, GUI that you want in this case my GUI is called loading screen, so put in the name of the GUI that you want in there. Next, I'm gonna put in a reference to replicated first, and I'm just gonna set that to script.parent since that's what it is. Next, you're going to want the audio ID of the uh, sound or music that you want. So I have a variable called audio ID, and I have the ID for an elevator music here. To find an ID, you just go into the Roblox website. Go into create, go into library, filter by audio, and search for the thing you want. Click on the uh, link for that. And at the top where the URL bar is, just copy the bunch of numbers. Here I have the audio ID for my music. So to get started, first, take your replicated first and put a colon after it and say remove default loading screen. So this is pretty self-explanatory. It removes the default loading screen, so the default Roblox loading screen is going to be automatically removed and in its place you are going to put the loading screen GUI so just make sure to set your uh, GUI to be enabled and also set the GUI to be disabled by default because um, you don't you don't want it cluttering up your studio so we're gonna enable it when we have to next we're going to initiate and play the audio so I'm gonna make an audio object variable and I'm gonna set that to a new uh, sound object and I'm gonna parent that to the GUI and this will go into this GUI which means it will play like with no 3d effects that's what we want so next we need to put in the ID into the audio object so we're gonna get the audio object set its sound ID over to our audio ID that we want next all we're gonna do is play the sound so now this will instantiate the GUI and the sound and play the sound as well. Next, I'm going to check if the game is loaded. So if the game is not loaded, then of course we'll wait for that game to load. After that, we're going to set the GUI to be disabled and also stop playing the music. So uh, this is just to check if the game has already been loaded. So you don't want the loading screen to go on forever. So we're going to be checking if the game is loaded, then we'll get rid of the loading screen. And um, in the case that you want the loading screen to always be there for like somewhat like three seconds, you can put in a wait statement above the if statement. And this will make it so that the loading screen will appear no matter what. So even if the game is already loaded, it'll appear for some number of seconds that you specify here. Okay, one thing to point out is make sure in the audio object sound ID, Make sure you're going to append a Roblox asset ID header before the audio ID, and this way it'll recognize it as an audio ID. If you don't put this uh, string in at the beginning, it will error. So let's test it. Okay, so you can see it's playing the music, and there's a loading screen, and after three seconds, it goes away. So that's it for your tutorial. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.